I've been exploring Japan for a while now. Soaking in all the incredible culture this country has to offer. From the flashy lights of Tokyo to the serene temples of Kyoto. But today, I want to share with you a super popular place, but for very different reasons. Another beautiful day in Osaka, Japan. We're uh, having another late start, like most of the days lately, but we were up till like four last night, so it's Just justified. Tell it's 10. <laughs> Can't really tell from the light. Um, but yeah, we're going to Nara today. <laughs> Looks bomb. Share it. Arigato. Ooh, looks good. Together. Nara is a really good place for a one day or even a half day stop, making it easy to squeeze in while you're hitting the western cities of Japan. If you're in Osaka or Kyoto, just hop on a quick train ride and you can get there in about half an hour. It's also a stop on most Shinkansen routes, so if you're taking the bullet train from further, it's still most likely on the way. It's super convenient and totally worth the trip. That was a very relaxing train ride. I like how on the way you can see all the, the suburbs of Japan. There's more houses rather than all the towers we've been basically staying around the whole time. But we're officially in Nara. There's a lot of like students and stuff here. So I'm wondering if maybe there's um, probably like field trips and day trips or, yeah, a lot of people even wearing things that say Nara. Not really sure what the deal is. After exiting the train, there's a short walk through some shops and restaurants to get to Nara Park. Where are the deer at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I got a, a really nice sleep on the bus ride over though. I feel very rested. We went to bed at 4 a.m. Got up around. I mean, we noon? got up at noon. Noon, but... got out around two, yeah. I think. Got breakfast at 2 p.m. Hopped on a train ride. <laughs> I already feel like I've had a long day. Now here's the coolest Let's part about Nara, the deer. Dude. Oh, <laughs> I just saw one. Literally walking across the street on the crosswalk. <laughs> yeah, I think this is one of those places you can just kind of show up, start walking around and be like, oh my gosh. I just saw a deer use a crosswalk. <laughs> we just paid 200 yen each for this little stack, stack of deer crackers. Oh, do I have to eat more? <laughs> Try it out. You won't have to look hard because soon you'll suddenly be surrounded by over a thousand years. Dude, look right here. I know. This guy wants one. Shit. They're seriously all over the place, just roaming around and being deer. But let me tell you, these are not your typical zoo animals. Get mad. I've seen some super funny stuff happen with these deer. Right. So make sure you mentally prepare. They'll munch on your clothes, snatch food from your pockets, and really search for any food you might be hiding. Don't back up. <laughs> but aside from all that, there's a reason this place is so popular. Not only are there tons of deer, but many of them have learned to bow. It's not like someone trained them or anything. They just picked it up from watching humans. Whenever people show them respect by bowing, they just bow right back. It's like this magical exchange between humans and deer. It's super cool. So why do these deer bow? It turns out that bowing is a big deal in Japanese culture. Crazy. It's a way to greet someone and show respect, acknowledging their importance as a human. And through observation, these Nara deer have caught on to bowing and will bow right back. And as a reward, they'll usually get these special deer crackers sold by vendors in the park of this building in front of us. Oh. 
I think this is the, the gate for the shrine. Dude, what a crazy, crazy building. Look at those pieces of wood, man. If you're visiting Nara, you might as well visit Todaiji Temple. It's pretty impressive. The temple itself is a masterpiece and a testament to Nara's rich history. Well, we came a little bit late. Actually, a lot a bit late. Okay, yeah, they're closing like right now. So we're just we're gonna at least peek our heads inside. This place houses the world's biggest bronze statue of Buddha. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, there's like all these like big pieces down here and these are huge, but then if you look up, it's just way up there. Like look at this vase with flowers. And then behind it, that huge Buddha. Brad, stand like up against that wall. Imagine walking up this staircase. This is the steepest thing and it has no railings. Oh, oh there is a railing on one side, but that is insane. Dang, this is awesome. Absolutely insane. I've never seen a Buddha. Actually, I don't know. This if is I crazy, this is dude. Nuts. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed walking around Nara, feeding the deer, seeing like the small town feel rather than in Tokyo and like the heart of Osaka. Definitely a very different vibe over here. But hope you enjoyed the video. Press like if you did. Hit subscribe if you want to see all my videos. Make sure you follow me at whereisbrad underscore. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.